Hey everyone, Triode here, and I just want to talk about the latest progress on VS2. So, let's just jump right into it. So, if you remember from VS1, basically you can create these little ship things, and you can edit them, and you can walk on them, and they're basically like full little chunks that you can just move around, interact with, and you might notice that this is running in 1.16. So, there's some progress right there. And I also want to show off the, the new physics engine that I've been working on. Uh, it's based off of extended position-based dynamics. So already right away, you can see that we have ship-on-ship -ship collision. We didn't have that before. I'm quite proud of that. Um, there is a lot more that this can do, though. A lot more than just ship collision. But for now, uh, this is all I've got. At least as far as these blocks go. One thing that we can do, for example, this is kind of fun, is I can make tiny ships. So, this, uh, not the tiny ship, there we go, this one, uh, where is it, there it is, there we go, look at these, look at how tiny that ship is, it's amazing, and as you can see, the physics works just the same on it and it can collide uh, with these bigger ships as well. And yeah, this is using a new type of physics engine, um, well, maybe in like a new algorithm called Extended Position Based Dynamics. And as far as I can tell, there's not many physics engines that use this. At least not that I can find. Um, it does have this interesting effect that when you place blocks, sometimes <laughs> they go flying off. Um, I do think I have a, a decent solution for that, but for now that's what we have to live with. Um, and another thing, another thing you can notice is how much it likes to roll. Like This thing is rolling like crazy, and that's because each uh, little block here isn't actually... It's not represented as like an actual cube, it's... If you can imagine like eight little spheres at each corner, there's a sphere. So that's why it likes to roll so much. It's, it's got rounded edges effectively. Um, and there was one funny thing that I wanted to show. Um, so like you saw earlier that... Well, I'll just do it again. Like when it's in a block and you place another block, it kind of flies off a bit. Um, we can do funny things with that. So, for instance, I can make a little, I can make a little monorail system. Uh, let me just think of how I want to make this. Yeah, like this. And maybe just hold this in place for now. Okay, so this little glass thing is a tiny ship, and uh, the wood part is in the real world. Well, the real video game world. And I can just add a little stopper to the end of it back here. And now all I have to do is take a piston and just push it. And look at that. Look at that. Now you can see it's a little bit unhappy for a bit. It kind of jiggles. <laughs> it, um, it obviously doesn't... The physics engine wasn't really designed for behavior like this. This is just kind of like an accident. I'm pretty sure I can stop that weird spin it does. If I just make this a little bit thicker. Hopefully. Let's see how this works. Uh, yeah, it likes to spin, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, it came out. Um, yeah, the problem with this is this is kind of undefined behavior. Like, this is basically putting a block inside of there. And you can imagine there's no real simple way to resolve that. Like, obviously, we can think, oh, you just push it in that direction. But actually solving for that explicitly is pretty hard. Um, so that behavior probably won't be in there, there in the future. In the future, if you try putting a block inside of a ship, it'll probably just ignore that block until the ship is left. But 
It's fun to play with for now. Um, and yeah, that's basically what we've got so far for VS2. And it's in 116, and it's pretty good. Um, yeah. I guess this is just me kind of trying to play with it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks like as long as there's like some kind of boundary holding it in, then it doesn't jiggle too badly. Like, it generally kind of finds its place pretty quickly. There we go. Now I can do something funny. I can, uh... This is something I've done a few times now. Uh, let's make a ship. Let's make some... Let's make a tiny ship, you know? Let's... So this is kind of neat. We can just have, like, two tiny ships sitting in the... Actually, we can fit more than two. Yeah, we're gonna have a little piston in here, too. <laughs> so we can have some little tiny ships sitting around in the big ship. <laughs> and then we could also put some rails on the sides. There we go. I'm not very... This... Okay, it's not the best looking, alright? But it just needs to hold it in place so it doesn't fly off into, like, oblivion. And then we can just put a piston, like, over here. Come on. Oh, you stupid piston. We can put a piston over here. And it should, hopefully, not explode in a horrible way. Um, let me put some glass here so it's easier to see it. Uh, <laughs> there we go, look at that. So we just pushed a ship, and it's got three little ships in it. Those those aren't just like single blocks. Like I can, I can open this, and I can like put some glass on there. And look, it's even gone in a bit deeper. And I could even put a lever, maybe not there. Um, and we could close that up again. Well, you don't just want a lever there. Um, yes, this is, uh, kind of neat. It's a shame I'll have to remove this behavior. Like, I can't think of a way to keep this. Because the only reason this is working is because there's rails on it. Like, if I get rid of these rails on top, um, and I try pushing it... Actually, it might not do so well. Um, oh. Yeah, there we go. You see how it, it it didn't really know where to go for a bit. Uh, here's a funny thing you can do. You can just push something in it anyways. And it's just going to start being like, what? <laughs> like, what? And then, psh, flies right off. But, even though it's flying right off and acting like crazy, right? you can still see those three ships are still in there. And they're not fixed in there. They're still bouncing around. Uh, is this ship going to fall or not? Oh no, it's leaking. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically what we've got for VS2. So the new physics is awesome. Um, I'm probably going to have to rewrite this though, because it's written in Java. And, I mean, Java's great, but you don't want to write a physics engine in Java, because it's it's slow. Oh, man, this thing just rolls like crazy. Uh, it's annoying, because this sphere is actually, like I said, it's eight... This sphere... Uh, this cube is eight spheres. So, that's why it's rolling so easily. It's not really represented as a cube, it's represented as spheres. There is a way to fix that, but... I'm going to need to do a, more, a bit more reading to figure it out. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll post updates when I get something cool to show you guys. Alright, see ya. Triode signing off.